Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Saints podcast. And for a few minutes, I want to talk to you about Tommy Stevens and Saints head coach Sean Payton. Now, you can see at the bottom of the screen, the question is, was the drafting of Tommy Stevens a way of Sean Payton sticking it to the Carolina Panthers? And we all know that the New Orleans Saints basically traded the entire 2020 draft to move up in the third round uh, to pick up Adam Trotman, the tight end out of Dayton. And everybody in the Who That Nation thought that the Saints were done. But the Saints ended up trading back into the draft by relinquishing their six-round pick next year to get in the seventh round to draft quarterback Tommy Stevens. Now, this was a quarterback that the Carolina Panthers really showed a lot of interest in. And a lot of people are thinking that maybe Sean Payton was using the petty card by drafting Tommy Stevens to snatch him away from the Carolina Panthers. Now, this question comes from Casey Neal. He wanted me to answer this question. Do I feel like Sean Payton was being petty? So, shouts out to Casey. And to answer your question, Casey, the answer is no. Look, I understand who Sean Payton is. Sean Payton is one of the pettiest coaches I have ever seen. There is nobody, I feel like, that, that carries around sour grapes like head coach Sean Payton. I mean, it is epic the way this guy is petty. There was a, a notice that came around to all of the teams and organizations about protocol during the NFL draft. The NFL wanted the coaches to not have uh, you know, rival uh, brands of the National Football League on camera during the time. Coach Sean Payton got a whole bunch of different items that were rivals of the NFL products and put them on camera just out of spite. I mean, we know about the NFC Championship game a couple days later when Sean Payton had an a, a interview with, with the press. Underneath, he had a shirt that was a Roger Goodell clown t-shirt. It was underneath a jacket. I mean, we know Sean Payton is extremely petty, but I feel like it, this is not the case. Sean Payton, according to New York Post, was ranting and raving about quarterback Tommy Stevens. And we all know that Sean Payton always seems to find those quarterbacks that nobody knows anything about. They just come out of the blue. They hopping out of the trees. They coming from foxholes. They swimming out of the sea. We don't know where these guys coming from. But Sean Payton always seems to have a liking for these guys. I mean, this dates back way before uh, Drew Brees was even a quarterback of the New Orleans Saints. At one time, there was a quarterback by the name of Tony Romo that nobody really knew about that Sean Payton wanted to come to New Orleans. Can you imagine what the Saints would have looked like with Tony Romo as the quarterback? But Sean Payton was ranting and raving about Tony Romo back in the day. So it's not a surprise that he tries to find a guy that nobody knows about that can honestly boost his uh, credibility as a quarterback whisperer and an offensive innovator. So I think that Tommy Stevens reminded him a lot of Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill is a guy we all see that is very physical. He can throw the ball. He can catch the ball. He can block. He can do all these things. And I feel like the New Orleans Saints are trying to transition Taysom Hill to a starting quarterback type role and give him the opportunity to get the starting job. So that leaves Tommy Stevens, a guy who has a, a similar skill set of Taysom Hill, can kind of fill that role. I mean, it is a trend that's going on in the National Football League, folks. I don't know if you're realizing it or not. You've seen a draft in a jail and hurts in the second round to the Philadelphia Eagles. I feel like they're going to try to do something similar with him. I mean, it is a trend. You see Lamar Jackson out there with the RPO, run pass options. There are so many ways you can use a, a, an additional quarterback on your team, and it was showed by the New Orleans Saints. So I don't think that this is petty. Look, the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints have a really good relationship, all things considered. Yeah, they're a rival, but if you look at it over the past couple of years, it seems like the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers really reach out to each other, and the organizations seem to always be picking from the other organization's tree. 
We seen Roman Harper go to the Carolina Panthers. We seen Kurt Coleman come to the New Orleans Saints. We seen Ted Ginn Jr. come to the New Orleans Saints. I mean, we seen AJ Klein from Carolina come to the New Orleans Saints. And now we see Teddy Bridgewater and Keith Kirkwood. We see guys like that. They left the Saints and went to the Carolina Panthers. So I don't feel like this is sour grapes. I don't feel like he's trying to stick it to the Carolina Panthers. I just feel like it was a business move. And, and, and Sean Payton thought it would be beneficial to the New Orleans Saints. So I like the move, man. I think that Tommy Stevens has a great upside. I think he's 6'4", 235 pounds. That is some upside that you do not want to miss out on. And it's a seventh-round pick. If Tommy Stevens goes out there and he just wows everybody, man, I mean, it's more bang for your buck. But if he just fizzled out, the only thing that you lost was a seventh-round pick. I think pick number 240 or something like that. Not a big deal. Okay, so I do not think this was a shot at the Carolina Panthers. I think that this was a, a attempt to try to boost the quarterback room of the New Orleans Saints. But I would love to hear from you. What do you think about Sean Payton? And do you think that the move to get into the seventh round was a shot at the Carolina Panthers? Comment down below, like, and share this video. This has been the State of the Saints podcast. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com, search the State of the Saints podcast, facebook.com, search the State of the Saints podcast, and also the State of the Saints podcast is available on Alexa. All you have to do is say, hey, Alexa, play the State of the Saints podcast, and it will play the most recent episode of the show. Till next time, all I got to say is, who that?